Do you believe that there will ever be a time where the United States employs a fully autonomous global warfare system where we no longer fight wars with our men, but with our technology and our machines? I don't think it'll ever be fully autonomous because the gains aren't there and the negatives are. It's one of those things where going from, let's say, a million people doing some task to 100,000 people through automation, that's a huge gain in cost. You can often do much a better job. Going from 100,000 to, let's say, 1,000 people, maybe there's even gains there. Going from 1,000 people to zero people, I don't see the gains. If people are going to be responsible for violence, and if we are going to be responsible for use of force against other nations, against other people, there has to be a level of attention and responsibility. And oh, measure it with the consequence. Exactly. Imagine if you had one person who runs the whole war. You can't actually hold them accountable for anything. Because you could say, oh my God, this thing happened that's absolutely unthinkable. And he's gonna say, well, of course, I had to do a thousand actions over the course of an hour. I had to take out million targets. Of course, I couldn't actually ever possibly dedicate any meaningful amount of attention to anything. And that is what we need to avoid. We need to avoid outsourcing responsibility for violence to machines, to robotics. If we are gonna kill people, we need to kill people. And it needs to weigh on us.